All right, so we're in my bathroom now. Can you see me? Hi, hi, hey. Uh, so we're in my bathroom now. Got all my brushes here. Got all the brushes here. They're all over this right here. And behind me is a towel where I'm going to lay out all my brushes. It's simple. I think we all know how to wash brushes at this stage. Um, I will do a little bit of a montage or whatever. Uh, this is what I use for my brushes. Instead of doing it against my skin, I just do it on this now. And I use the Sorbet Deep Clean Squeaky Clean Liquid Brush and Sponge Cleaner. This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So this is what it looks like, right? Proper. And this is what I use, but if you don't have this or you can't keep buying this all the time, I get the chat before I used to use, um, what is it? I used to use the sunlight dishwashing liquid. Works just as effectively, does just the exact same thing. So typically I would put this, a little bit of this into a container, which I will show you just now, and then wash my brushes that way. I'll show you, I'll show you. All right. So I take this and I just add some of this uh, I just add okay and then first run the brush under water as I would with this one the it's already coming out the colors are already coming out. And then I dip it in here, oops, and I dip it in here, and then I wash it like so. And this is pretty much what I do for the next however long I need to do it for. Okay, so the brushes are done, glad. Gonna leave these overnight in the tub. This is the tub, right? Uh, gonna leave these overnight. I also washed out this uh, Ted Baker. This is where I keep my smaller brushes, not the big ones, but this is where I keep all of those. Also managed to wash my beauty blender. This thing, that spot liquid cleaner, does an amazing job with beauty blenders. So yeah, pretty much it's done. Let's go downstairs for a chat. So back downstairs, I am gonna fix myself a drink because I'm really craving one. My battery, on the other hand, is not far from dying. And this is the reason why I want us to have this chat. So I do wanna partake in Vlogtober. Sorry, I had my pods in because I was listening to music while I was um, cleaning up upstairs and all of that. Um, so I do want to partake in Vlogtober, but at my terms, which would be three times a week. And because of that, it means my vlogs are going to be slightly shorter. I know that um, y'all love my vlogs and you'll love them long, but... For Vlogtober, if you want to see more vlogs, they're definitely going to be shorter, maybe anywhere between... 15 and 25 minutes long. Typically my vlogs are about uh, 25 to 45 minutes long. So uh, we're just gonna have to shorten them. And the reason why I feel like, okay, we're gonna make a drink quickly, because I wanna drink. Um, because from tomorrow I must clean it up. Uh, so I'm gonna have maybe a few glasses of gin today. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to record again tomorrow, a couple of sit-down videos. So there will be 
maybe one sit down video and two vlogs per week. We're going to see how I can manage. I'll try it for at least the first two weeks. I'm going to try and be consistent with it. But for now, let's make a glass of something nice and cold because I deserve it. Okay. I woke up and I tidied up this house and I did this and I did this and I made myself a nice breakfast and all of that. I deserve a good drink. here uh, Amber and Varoche with um, fever tree elderflower tonic water and it's really really good. Balisa put me onto this. I really love this one and the aromatic one which I've got but I feel like having it with elderflower today and yeah the drink oranges in a nice glass. I love it in a tall glass as opposed to a shorter one. I enjoy it in both but um, if I want to drink it for a more prolonged period of time, um, I love to stack this up with a bunch of um, ice, with a lot of ice, and then I'll show you how I do it. So. Pretty much afterwards this is how it looks really whoops really really delicious and uh, cheers from me uh, oh that's good Here we go. The stewish, what's coming, is ready to go. But I always like to leave a little bit of water because it still has the spices and the flavors of the meat in there. So I don't let it go down all the way down so that there's no water in the pot. So what we're going to do now is add, excuse us, thank you. What we're going to do is add this to the mix. And I would have added a bottle, just a little bit of red wine, which is typically how my sister and I do it. But I'm not this time around because all my bottles of red wine are actually closed. And I'm not drinking red wine right now at the moment. So what I'm just going to do is add this. And then after adding this, close it up. Let it simmer. Let it relax in there. Just soften up the meat a little bit. And it should be done. And the wheat has now sort of doubled in size, which is great. So I'm going to stir that up a bit and it should be ready. Just add a little bit of that water in there. It should be ready by now and yeah, we should be done. So let's add the tomatoes. Okay. 
just decided to take a bit of a break because I've been filming all day. I'm really, really just, I'm done with it really at this point. It is six in the evening. Uh, shortly. I thought maybe I would share some of my childhood growing up memories with you guys i feel like that will be fun right before it gets completely dark because at that point i'm going to switch everything off so i'm going to show you some of the many 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 uh photo albums that i have here at home <laughs> from growing up my mom my dad um, don't know about my dad but family right so <sighs> I keep them here with my books. They're actually so old that you can actually see that the paper is tearing and all of that, but I feel like that's what gives gives these albums the, the history, the past, the nostalgic feeling of these albums. And these ones, oh, which have a bit of dust on them, are old, old, old. These are my mother and my father's albums. But I'll pretty much show you pictures of my mom because why not? So old. Look at that photo album. Look at that. <laughs> uh, let's just hope I don't cry right now because, yeah, so these are pictures of my mom and her mom. So my grandmother, my grandmother's name is Grace. And in my previous vlog, I whipped out a keychain that is written grace on it and i feel like i need to use that keychain right about now uh there's some pictures of my mom and my dad so i'll just kind of pick out uh ones of my mom let's start from the beginning <sighs> wild i haven't looked at this in a while um so <sighs> so this is my mom i hope you guys can see this apart from the glare. Um, so that's a picture of my mom. Check how she's sitting on the tree. <laughs> she's sitting on a tree. This one, so, so, so beautiful. Can we focus on the picture and not me? So, so pretty. And she, my mother used to really like um, dresses. That's also another one there. I feel like I need to do a video in tribute of my mom. I really do. Um, some pictures of my dad in here as well my mom at the beach my mom at the beach because the beach for black people was a real thing <laughs> going there it's a thing it's a thing uh some pictures of me here um when i was a baby a lot of a lot of the time they say I look like my mom when she was younger. Which I tend to agree. Oh my god. You remember back in the day, like they used to wear these really high 60s. I hope it can focus. That's my mom in, in that kind of shoe. <laughs> it's adorable. It's adorable. No, I, I don't look at these very often. But when I do... When I do, um, that's my mom there. That's, that's my mama. <laughs> She's a pretty baby. I typically think that babies are ugly, AF. <laughs> but uh, she was all right. She wasn't that bad. It's, maybe I'm a bit biased, but um, I don't know. I feel like I could go into a rant about, you know, losing your mom and grief and how losing your mom is not like anything you'll ever experience in your life. Especially if you were close with your mother. I wasn't typically close with my mom. And I feel like maybe uh, my sister maybe might have mentioned it in her videos where she will always be like, oh, my sister's my dad's favorite, whatever. But I typically wasn't as close with my mom. Um, but, but we got along. So looking at these, looking at these is, a, is it's a little bit hard for me, but, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a nostalgic moment because I think of, wow, 
I think of all the times, man. My sister, if you want to see your fave, <laughs> that right there, that's not lady. This was outside of my mom's house. <laughs> this was around the time that she would, uh, This was around the time that she would hide food under the bed. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, there's pictures of me. Oh man, this is a picture of me. I don't know, maybe I was 12, 13 uh, on my way to school. That morning I wasn't, I wasn't the happiest. As you can see, I was quite, quite mad. Uh, my hair was beautiful. <laughs> For the most part, my sister and I had a pretty privileged uh, background. And uh, that's my sister. That's your fave. That's your fave sleeping <laughs> on the bed. My sister and I shared a bedroom. We didn't have separate bedrooms until my parents sort of extended. By extender, they renovated and added to the house. Um, as black people, we understand that concept as ho extendan. So that's, that's what they <laughs> that's what they did that's what they did there's pictures of my uncle in jail and my uncle my father's younger brother and he's passed he's deceased but he was a great guy man he was a great guy funny there's pictures of my mom and my dad wearing that old school all, all that old school leather pants um you know hipster vibes <laughs> This is the one picture where they say my mom looks like me. And, I don't know, do you see it? I don't know, do you see it? <laughs> That's my mom. So they say she looks a lot like me in that picture. Don't focus on me, camera, jeez. That's my mom. I have... I have a lot more of these and they're pretty much everywhere. These other ones I can't show much of because these are pictures of my mother's mom and Grace and all of that. So I can't really show much of this. And this one is of my mom and my dad together. So as a couple, they kind of decided to do a whole entire photo album of their stuff, which is kind of cute. We love that. <laughs> Good times. Got quite a few of those. Probably like 10 photo albums in my house that, I don't know, they, they keep my mother's memory alive and they keep, um, yeah, they keep her memory alive, they keep her alive and it's something that's really special to look back on, especially on days where I do miss my mother and I know that a lot of us share the same struggles here, you know, we've lost our mom. And um, it's been a bit tough, but um, it gets better over the years. You know, you can remember her fondly without having, uh, without your heart breaking because of, you know, the last moments that you remember of her. Uh, but you can remember her fondly, you can remember her laughing. Um, my mom used to say a whole lot of things. One of her favorite words was ludicrous. She would love to say, oh, that's ludicrous. Oh, that's ludicrous. She would always say it all the time. Uh, and I remember I used to call her Oros because, <laughs> because somebody else called her Oros and she kind of acclimated herself to that name or that word. And we called her that, not particularly because she looked like an, <laughs> the Oros man or whatever. No, she didn't. But um, she kind of, I, I don't know, she kind of went with it. Um... She was a good lady. She was a good lady. And uh, the woman I am today is largely based on my mom and my mother's heart and just the kindness that she radiated when it came to just people generally. No matter what background you came from, no matter what sphere of life you came from no matter what you'd achieved or what you didn't achieve um to my mom everybody was the same and equal and i love that about her 
And I feel like that's the spirit of hers that I want to carry with me for the rest of my life. To never judge a book by, by its character. To never judge people based on their background or where they come from. To always see people as people and nothing more, nothing less. Anyway, I'm going to get a little bit emotional, so we're not going to do that today. Um, that's pretty much it now, for now. I'll probably do a little bit of a snap when I make my food and all of that. And it'll be that portion of the vlog, 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 vlog for today. And then we'll continue another day. So here we go. Of course, trust me. Ooh. All right. Of course, trust me to have more meat on the plate than anything else, but it's fine. That's how we roll. Okay. As long as it's a home cooked meal, we're okay. A little bit of the bugla wheat, some vegetables necessary. And then I'm going to empty out this into a container. And after that, we're going to have dinner, and then I'll touch base with you. I'll taste it. I'll taste it for you guys. Let me just put this away, and then we're good. Um, good morning, everybody. It's a, another day um, of October. <laughs> I'm just a little bit tired. I just woke up, just took a shower. Um, today is vaccination day. I'm going to go get vaccinated, going to get my second dose uh, today. I didn't go last weekend when I had gotten the text. To go last weekend i wasn't feeling the best the weather was really crappy and my knee was acting up as well so uh i'm i'm gonna go today uh didn't wake up feeling the best today uh i'm feeling overwhelmed but we'll talk about it later when i get back i'm gonna leave my camera here at home so that it can charge in the meantime so that when i do get back um i can pick up and we can have a chat uh yeah but today is not a great mental health day and it is mental health that's me in the back there it is mental health awareness month so i do want us to have these uh chats but we will have the chats later I need to go get vaccinated. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go get vaccinated. There's a clicks here by me that's not as busy. So I'm going to try that first. If not, I'm probably going to go where I went the first time. No, try the clicks, then the disc cam. If not that, I'll probably go where I went the first time, which is in uh, Gallagher in Midrand. So let's go. I'll try and film a little bit on my phone, uh, then come back. Yeah feeling rather heavy today. Today's not a good day, but it's fine. We're going to do what we got to do, so let's go. The kettle is going. I just tidy up my little makeshift office here. I really don't want to be upstairs. Um... If you hear that in the back, it's the kettle, okay? The kettle is going. Ah, uh, I'm tired today. <laughs> I'm tired today. I don't wanna do anything. And here I am forcing myself to do some work. I'm not gonna do the work now, actually. I'm just setting up my station so that I'm probably gonna take a nap for about two hours. Uh, my arm is starting to feel it a little bit. Um, but what I wanted to say, I've got my tea here. Got my tea here. Okay. Got my tea here. Firstly, can somebody speak to Twinnings? Okay. So Twinnings can sponsor me because, wow, Twinnings tea bags are expensive. Okay. For a tea bag of 20, 25, you're paying like 80, 90 rands. Okay. It's a lot, but honestly, it's worth it. Twinnings tea is amazing. And I particularly love the the green tea and the peppermint tea from Twinnings. The chamomile one as well. I love them all. To be honest, I love them all. Um, but before I get into all the stuff that I wanted to say, I know somebody asked me about this book uh, and where did I get it? And I think they saw it in my 
uh, vlog or Instagram or something. Uh, this is Flowers on the Moon. is by Billy Chapata. I spoke about this. And um, it's 267 rands. And I got it from Exclusive Books. Um, I randomly saw it. I was out on a Sunday uh, with the boy. And I saw an Exclusive Books. And I was like, ah, yeah, I can't leave here without popping into Exclusive. That's wild. Uh, and yeah, the, the, when I went into the Pan-African section, this book stood out to me, really just the cover, the cover stood out to me because it's so pretty. It's one of those that, yeah, if you've got oily hands, it's, yeah, it makes marks, but whatever. Okay. It's beautiful. It's, it's like, um, at the back it's written, I am not for everyone. And that's my magic. You cannot take that away from me. Yep, this is true. Um, so it's just uh, it's just phrases and passages and prose and just beautiful passages of you know self love and loving yourself and you know dealing with heartbreak and dealing with love and dealing with uh, just priorities, solitude. There's just a lot of stuff here. And um, I haven't looked at it properly. I've just like switched, like petlad to a page. I just opened up a page and I would see something and I'd be like, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. So I haven't actually gone through the whole thing. Sorry if the, I keep knocking the table and it shakes. My bad. Uh, but currently... This is something I would read in conjunction with a novel. And currently the novel that I am reading is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. It's taking me a while to get into this. It really is. Uh, the, the beginning part of this novel is a bit slow. And I don't know. I don't want to DNF it. I don't want to put it away because uh, apparently it's a really great novel and it picks up. But also it's about war and things. So I'm not quite sure if I want to read this. This is a, another book I want to read. This is a book I really want to read right now. This is a novel I really want to read right now. And this is All Komoras Are the Same. And this is by Tenji Wimswane. And I think I need something, I need something local. I need something local to read. I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a tale... Uh, told through the eyes of three women, Makosi, Tutuzile, and Nontle. And, uh, complicated general conversations within black families on a varying of issues, womanhood, parenting, sexuality, sexual abuse, and most importantly, mental health, addiction, and loss. I think we know what we're reading, right? Uh, in the spirit of Sorry, Achilles. I'm going to read you. Don't even worry about it, Achilles. Page 24. Okay. I was even on to page 24. Crazy. Don't worry about it, Achilles. I'll be back. I'll be back, Achilles. In light of Mental Health Awareness Month, we are in October, and it is Mental Health Awareness Month in South Africa. I don't know if it's all over the world, but I know in South Africa it is. And uh, the moment I read Mental Health, I thought this is the book that I need to read. Uh, my mental health right now, on the other hand, is shite today. Um, this is the thing about mental health, right? You can wake up one day, like I did yesterday, feeling good, feeling quite ready to take on the world, feeling quite, appre not apprehensive, feeling quite... Um, you know, assertive, ready to go, just let's do it, let's be productive, let's do the work. And I woke up feeling like that yesterday, and boy was I productive. I woke up, I edited a vlog, after editing a vlog, I recorded five other videos, sit-down videos where, um, of varying topics, um, and I felt good. Even though I was exhausted, I hadn't slept, 
I literally woke up at 3 a.m. and hadn't slept all morning, day, whatever. By the time I was finished recording, I was finished. I was exhausted. And yesterday was uh, the worldwide shutdown of Instagram and and um, Instagram and Facebook and WhatsApp. And it was a mess. Everybody was just on Twitter trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. Um, and around that time, that could have been downtime for me to actually start editing. And I didn't want to. I was just like, nah, bro. Bro, I'm tired. <laughs> the, the, the exhaustion had started to sink in, but I was feeling very good. My mental space was very good because I equate, and this is not a good thing, but I equate productivity to a good day. Okay? If I'm productive that day, then I've had a good day. Um, and, uh, sometimes it isn't quite like that. Um, that's not a good, um, comparison or ratio. Those things shouldn't even be put together. You should be able to have a good day and not be productive at all, but still have a good day. That's why we have days like self-care and rest days and whatever, uh, that we should also prioritize over a productive day. So this is something that I struggle with. Uh, I'm here and there about it all the time. One minute I'm okay with it. I'm about it. The next minute I'm just like... Yeah, but I've been lazing around for the past two days. No. Anyway. So in the evening, when I should have been resting, given the fact that I'd had a very busy day, my mental health took a knock. Out of nowhere, you know, my mental health decides to just, hey, swings in. You know, I'm having a good day, minding my own business, blah, blah, blah. And my, hand, my mental health is like forest. Okay. Hey miss me remember me um so it took a little bit of a knock in the evening um i remember going to bed feeling tired but also more than anything i went to bed feeling very overwhelmed i felt like oh, i've got a lot to do i've got a lot to do i'm planning a trip with my friends that's hinging on me to make things happen um i am part of a panel uh, that I have invited on uh, called um, Our Health Matters to. It's a space where we're going to be talking about content creation. I'll put the, the, the flyer um, ad here uh, where we're going to be talking about mental health in the content creation space. And this is really, really important to me. So we're going to talk about, you know, the cyber bullying. We're going to talk about, you know, what do you do as a content creator on days like this where your mental health is just so short? Um, how do you manage the two? How do you reconcile the two? How, how does mental health play a very, how does mental health, in what way, does mental health play a role in the content creation space and as a content creator that is constantly faced with having to put out content and be consistent and be this, this. So I'm really looking forward to this uh, chat. Um, it's going to be happening on the 30th of October in Johannesburg in Newtown. I'll put all the information here um, at 11 a.m., I think, and it is free. One of the biggest things that I love about it is that we should make conversations like this more common. We should make them more easily accessible. We should make conversations like this regular, a regular occurrence, as opposed to just meeting up with content creators or meeting up at a, at a place where you can have fun, drink, whatever, whatever. But these are important conversations that should be had. And given the fact that I... Do struggle with anxiety and when she sent me sims writers behind this uh, i don't know if you guys follow sims right but you should she does she she's she's all about entertainment here on youtube and she's hilarious and me and her come from the same gassy so it's nice we can relate to one another one of the things that um people forget about me because maybe because i don't because maybe because wow because maybe how I talk or how I articulate myself or whatever, people forget that I'm a gussy girl. Like, now, if if somebody tries me, they can catch hands really, really quickly. Uh, and, it, and it, I'm here as well, you know? So one of the things that I relate to her about is that we come from the same neighborhood and all of that. So it's, 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 it's nice. It's nice. 
so yeah, she asked me to be part of the panel of content creators that are going to speak. And I am humbled by it. I jumped on it instantly. I didn't care. I wasn't looking for a payday. I'm not looking for whatever. I just want to talk about mental health. It's really important to me. And these are the events that I will put my anxiety aside for. I will actually do what I got to do for these kinds of events. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. If you are in Johannesburg and you can swing through, please do. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate for those who aren't in Johannesburg or aren't in Gauteng. You can be in Pretoria and still drive, you know. Uh, but uh, the seating is quite limited um, because it is a free event. So the, the seating is limited. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it because that weekend is also a staycation with me and my girlfriends. Um, so we're going to be staying some, somewhere in Santon that weekend. Um, so there'll be activities for me from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be a good time. One of my other friends, I won't guess, coming up from KZN for this uh, particular weekend to spend with us. So it's nice. And to have the girls be able to support me is nice. So definitely, if you want to know more information about that uh, day, Please follow me or Sims Wright. She is a content creator here on YouTube. She's also on Twitter and all of that. Uh, I'll put all the stuff down here so you can see. Um, follow us because we'll be talking about it throughout the month. Very, very important part of Mental Health Awareness Month. This is something that I'm very much looking forward to. Aside from that, yeah, today is just one of those days. I feel like I need a little bit of a break, but at the same time, I have committed myself to Vlogtober, and this portion of the vlog needs to go out this week. So you will be watching it probably on, what's today, Tuesday. You'll probably be watching it on uh, Thursday, Thursday. Um, and I've got other videos to edit and all of that, and there'll be another video on Saturday as well. So the, it's... Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to commit myself to Vlogtober uh, without completely overwhelming myself. I hope you guys are looking after yourselves. And if you do have mental health struggles, please look after yourself. Pay attention to yourself. The biggest thing that you can do for yourself is work on yourself, which is a tweet that I put up, I think, yesterday. That's one of the biggest things you can do for yourself. Work on yourself and work on yourself here. You can always work on yourself here, yeah, physically and all of that, and what you eat and all of that. And I'm a big rep of all these things, but the most important one is up here. So, I don't know, I'll probably touch base later. If not, I'll probably close out this vlog with this portion, and then the other vlogs will come in next week. So, yeah, I hope you guys are good. I'll talk to you a little bit later. Have a good week. Look after yourselves. Mm -hmm.